Hey folks, how's it going? If any of you guys remember, I have been talking about this episode since I watched that clip. And I've been talking about how I cannot wait till we get to this episode and we are finally here. I've been looking forward to this for so long, man. That was one of the funniest things I ever seen. Just that that was like six minutes was hilarious. And now I get to go into it knowing Father Chad's character, knowing uh, Dougal, like just knowing all the characters so I can appreciate it a lot more too. So I definitely look forward to it. And I get to see everything in its entirety as opposed to just uh, like the rant with that lady and stuff, man. I've just been really looking forward to this. So that's it. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. What about Tuesday? Can you do the 11 o'clock mass? Ted, I'll do the 11 and the 12. You should have a rest after that weekend away. I'm off for a game. Ted, care to join me? No thanks, Darren. What time are we going to the curve for the races? I suppose after lunch. Oh, Mrs. Dunn hopes you like pheasant. I love pheasant. <laughs> Where the hell is he at? This is what it's all about. A fine port, beautiful surroundings, mm -hmm. and intelligent company. Uh, did you not have all that at your last parish? No. <laughs> Dublin seems to suit you, though. You've got a newfound gleam in your eye. Ah, yes, I should be staying here for a good while. As long as I don't mess it up for myself by doing something stupid. <laughs> Most of these accounts seem in order, Father Smith. Oh. But one or two of these things that he's put down under expenses. Oh, no. Dad! <laughs> Oh, okay, they're showing like the whole origin of how you got there. That's cool. <clears throat> what is making that incredibly annoying noise? Oh, that's Ronaldo. It was a bit lonely without you, Ted, so I got a hamster instead. <laughs> yes, can I ask though, does he ever stop running in that feckin' wheel? <laughs> no. He's had to use the wheel ever since he rode this into his feed tray. But don't worry, Ted. I think there's just something wrong with the brakes. <laughs> oh my God. How long has Father Jack been living in there? Uh, he started just a few days after you left. Maybe he's agrophobic. <laughs> Jack's scared of fighting. I don't think so, Ted. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle just fell off the roof. I thought he was there showing him Let's before see, uh, like he got to Craig Yale. You know, sometimes I leaf through this to see just how far we've come. Celebration of the Christian Mysteries, Deus Canada, Ventra Mepolo. Ah, Stephen King's The Shining. <laughs> well, thanks for the tea, Father. <laughs> see you the next time we, um... We, uh, sorry about this, Father. I hope you don't mind me asking, but, um, what have you got a padlock on that door for? Is there something top secret in there? My collection. Oh, yes, that's right. What is this you collect? It's war memorabilia. That's right. Would you like to have a look? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> no, I can already see what it is. Taken from the German advance on Russia. You can see where the hammer hits the shell casing. Gosh, that's very interesting. Uh, <laughs> these are helmets, mostly infantry. Yes, these would be German as well, wouldn't they? That's right. <laughs> you don't have anything from the Allied side? No, no, that sort of thing wouldn't interest me at all, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's my curiosity satisfied. And this is the last photograph taken of Herr Hitler. He's signing a few death warrants there. <laughs> Funny how you get more right-wing as you get older. <laughs> right, well, great. This, this is all wonderful stuff. You know, some people, when they see it, they're not too sure, but you seem genuinely interested. Though I am genuinely interested. <laughs> what are you doing here? I told you, no sleeping here. This, this, this is an old friend of mine, Ted. I'll see you again. I'm fed up living in filth. We're just going to have to get this place clean, Dougal. And look at you. 
at that hole in your tank top. What if the parishioners saw that? Where, Ted? Oh, God, would you look at that? <laughs> Jesus. A perfectly square bit of black dirt on the window. I mean, how could you get a perfectly square bit of black dirt on a window? I, I would have thought that was practically impossible. It's just Mrs Doyle can't do any cleaning. Her back is very bad since she fell off the roof. <laughs> See, she can't keep her balance at all. That's it, then. I'm just going to have to come out and say it. We're going to have to clean this place ourselves. What? <laughs> you heard me, Dougal. Are you with me? Well, yeah. yeah. Right then, let's what? go! Let's clean this mother! Yeah! <laughs> they lost that fast. Ted, what about that bit of the lamp that came off? I could pick that up. Good idea. You <laughs> <laughs> brought us up. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm bored now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am Chinese, if you please. <laughs> Come on, Dougal, lighten up. <laughs> family. They're living over there in that old Chinatown area. <laughs> Chinatown area? There's a Chinatown on Craggy Island? Dougal, I wouldn't have done a Chinaman impression if I'd known there was going to be a Chinaman there to see me doing a Chinaman impression. Why not, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> because, because it's racist. They'll think I'm a racist. I'm going to have to catch up with them and explain I'm not a racist. And basically, if I don't stretch my eyes like that from time to time, I, I get this thing the doctor calls Fat eyes. Hope you won't think it's the ending of a race soon, nature. Thanks for being so understanding. See you again. Bye. <laughs> this is so like what are the chances? Right, that's that. Oh, that's that, all right. What's that? I ordered some new stuff for the house. Get rid of this old tat. You don't think I upset those Chinese people earlier? I don't know, Ted. It was like the time we put on that variety show and you did that impression of Stephen Hawking. <laughs> he was the last person you'd expect to turn up. <laughs> that was a million to one shot. God, he can fairly move in that wheelchair when he's angry. <laughs> uh, hello, Colm. <laughs> Out and about. I am. Same as yourself. Good, good. I hear you're a racist now, Father. <laughs> what? What? interested in that type of thing. <laughs> Send him a racist. Everyone's saying it, Father. Should we all be racist now? What's the official line the church is taking on this? <laughs> no, no. Only the farm takes up most of the day and at night I just like a cup of tea. I'd like to be able to devote myself full-time to the old racism. Good for you, Father. What? Oh, Mrs. Carberry. <laughs> Good for you, Father. Well, someone had the guts to stand up to them at last. Taking our jobs and our women and acting like they own it like a place. Well, done, Father. Good for you. Good for you. Right like the second. Oh, man, he deserves an award. It's the Chinese, he's out. I'm not after the Chinese. I don't care who he gets along as I can have a go at the Greeks. They invented gayness. Look, I'm not having a go at anybody. I am not a racist, all right? They invented God. gayness. Fagging Greeks. Oh, get this lady in the war. Oh, Mary. She's fine. She got that job after. Great. <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is 
that the Yin dynasty? Family! Is that the Yin family? Jesus. Yes, this is Sean Yin. Uh, hello? Hello? I don't know why we have to talk to this fascist. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> I invite them round and they don't even let me tell them my side of the story. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. People think I'm some ridiculous. sort of Nazi racist. And I'm not. What can I do? How about some sort of special event? Uh, celebrating all the different cultures on Craggy Island. And then people will think you're a fantastic man instead of a big racist. That's a really good idea. My God. What? That's a good idea. Yeah. No, it isn't. <laughs> it is, Dougal, it is. No, Ted, there's probably something wrong with it. You just haven't thought it through. No, no, Dougal, you've had a brilliant idea. <laughs> but break it down for me a bit more. What would an event celebrating all the different cultures on Craggy Island actually be like? Ted, I want out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I went too far too soon. <laughs> I didn't know what I was getting into, Ted. I didn't know you had to follow up a good idea with loads more little good ideas. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm going to sleep in the spare room. Dougal! I'm sorry. Welcome. Welcome. Bienvenue. <laughs> it's a great honour and privilege for me to present this celebration of the wide diversity of cultures that exist today on Craggy Island. Namely, Chinese people and uh, people from Craggy Island. <laughs> I've prepared a short slide presentation which reflects this multicultural mix. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's start the show. <laughs> oh, God. This man visited the island a few years ago. I, I forget his name now, but um, I, I got on very well with him, so I just uh, throw that in at the start. Will there be any free drink at this? Yes, the, there will be a limited supply of free drink afterwards. <laughs> the Great Wall of China. A miracle of Chinese engineering. So big, you can see it from anywhere in the world. <laughs> Chairman Mao, Secretary of the Communist Party of China. One of the biggest communist parties in the world. No. Mr. Miyagi from The Karate Kid. <laughs> one of my favorite films. Not because of The Karate Kid himself, but because of Mr. Miyagi. Not, not a day goes by when I don't remember one of his many words of wisdom. <laughs> Where would he spring from next? <laughs> Letter. Dear Father Crilly, on the instructions of our recently deceased client, Father Seamus Fitzpatrick, here are some items which he specified no. you should have in the event of his death. I can explain everything. Actually, no, I, I can't. <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, sorry again, and, and, and most importantly, uh, have you opened that present yet? Uh, no, looking forward to it, though. A year's supply of whiskey. Huh. How very generous. Uh, yes, uh, the problem there is basically, you see, there's been a bit of a change of plan. <laughs> Yes, that was a fantastic episode, all the way through. Oh my God, that was good, all the way through. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> my throat's been bothering me a little bit, so excuse me. But yeah, man, that was fantastic, dude. That whole story was good. Everything, since Sinai, get mixed the packages, him thinking it's the stuff that he ordered. You know, oh, all around good. Really, really funny. The stupid slideshow. Oh, man.
this chick deserves... When I saw this clip the first time, I'm like, this chick deserves an award. She really got into this role, man. This is fantastic. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. I've been waiting for this episode for a long time. And watching it in its entirety, knowing the characters now, just all around, just added so much value to it. It made it so much better. This was a really good episode. This is fantastic. I love when she's falling down the stairs, too. And like, um, <laughs> going like, Jesus and Mary and blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. I guess when um, using the Lord's name in vain works. That was good. Just good episode, man. All around. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. All right, guys. That is all for this one. If I think of anything else, I'd definitely type below the video. This, this episode was definitely worth the wait. I thought it was fantastic. And that is it. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.